program. We'll speak to Nicky Wire, the Manic Street Preachers Tour, conveniently coinciding with the one undertaken by the Lions. Uh, and we'll also speak exclusively to the man behind the planned National Mining Mem- yeah! There you go, it's the destination of choice for most of us, I think. Australia, one of the Manic Street Preachers' hit songs, and uh, you've probably gathered already this week that one of Wales' biggest bands has managed to conveniently schedule the tour down under to coincide with the Lions rugby tour to Australia. Uh, delighted to say that we got hold of the band's lyricist and bassist, Nicky Wire, earlier this afternoon, uh, and we asked him, which was there first, the music gigs or the Lions tour schedule? Well, the, the dangling carrot in between was We'd never been to New Zealand. We'd never ever done a show in New Zealand. So the fact that we could go to Australia, see the Lions, and hop over to New Zealand as well, sort of all combined to just make it, you know. Just a, it was just an opportunity we couldn't lose, you know. And we got a lot of Australian fans, as well as all the, you know, the Lions fans going over there. It just seems like a perfect amalgam, really. A perfect storm. Yeah, I think many people would be quite surprised you've never been to New Zealand. Yeah, we are as well. <laughs> we, we had to cancel it once. We were in Australia and uh, something went wrong and it's just one of those. And we got, got a lot of fans out there too. And it's, you know, So it just worked out in the, in the most magical way, really. You're going to have to be careful because uh, people get very worked up at these Lions matches. If you go along and support them, you'll have no voice left, will you? <laughs> I knew this gave my shoulder one, so, you know, just supporting Wales. Forget my voice. Really? What, what happened there then? <laughs> Uh, it's just when Rob Howley scored a try, the, the last game in the Millennium Stadium. We were getting slammed by England, but he scored such a beautiful try. And I was just so tense and everything, and my shoulder popped as I was screaming. Oh, I'm a very frail boy, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there is, there is some health issues, you are right. There are some health issues involved. Tell us a bit more about uh, the gigs then. What, what are the venues like? Are they pretty big or are they sort of intimate gigs? No, they're pretty, pretty big, actually. I think four or 5,000. Like I said, I think the last time we did Australia, it was... 1,800, 2,000 sort of gigs. But, um, yes, so there's plenty of room for anyone who... It's the Friday night before the test, you know, so it's just a perfect chance for everyone to congregate. And uh, it's just that thing with the Lions. You all become a lion. Everything else goes out the window. And, uh, you know, they're such a rare, such a rare animal to see. I can't wait for it, really. You know, given that, that, that most of the Australians will know that you're big rugby fans and you kind of, you've worn your heart on your sleeve about the fact you're out there at the same time as the Lions test, what sort of reception are you expecting from the, the Australians who, who turn up in the crowd for your gig? I'm hoping it'll be pretty good-natured. <laughs> I mean, there's, it will be a brilliant mix of loads of kind of feather-bowed, mascara Australian Manic fans. You know, hopefully a lot of uh, middle-aged blokes in rugby tops. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like a good cocktail, actually. Yeah, um, what about the... Um, I, I noticed um, yesterday, Jamie Roberts, the, the, the Wales and Lions centre, was getting very excited about the fact you were there. Have you had any contact at all between uh, some of the, the, the guys who've been lucky enough to be called up to the squad? Yeah, well, Jamie, you know, he still, he still owes us a guitar. He's got one of, <laughs> he's got one of Jim's, lent him an acoustic uh, a year ago. Jim's bumped into him a lot, and um, quite a few boys have been in the studio. We've got a studio in Cardiff as well. So, uh, yeah, and I'm sure, you know, I've been asked to do a few bits to tie it to a diaries and all that sort of stuff as well. Um, so yeah, it's all it's all looking promising. I'm sure something will go wrong. Usually, does before <laughs> round. <laughs> Nikki, what what did you make of the selections earlier this week? Couldn't argue with much of it. Um, I'm really get it for Ryan Jones. I think he's well, only you kind of truly miss Ryan when he's gone. I think he's one of the most kind of professional, does the dirty work kind of players. You only really miss him when he's gone. And I have to say, Rory Best, I feel bad for as well. I'm surprised Rory Best didn't go. Kind of surprised Matt Stevens got picked as well, really. Hey, for Ryan Jones for Wales, Nicky Wire for the Mannixes. Now, you do all the hard work in the background. <laughs> I do all, all, yeah, all the nitty-gritty stuff. <laughs> all the elbows and all the knees. <laughs> Here we go, then, Nicky. Matt, Nicky Wire, man of the people. Here's the key question. When you fly out to Australia, are you at the front of the plane in the beds or are you in the back with all the, the thousands of Lions fans who'll be crammed in like sardines? <laughs> Well, I think I earned my stripes doing enough travelling in transit <laughs> vans and, you know, sleeping on floors that, uh, you know, I can enjoy a few perks at my, <laughs> at my uh, later stages in life. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're presuming you're going to the matches. Have you sorted all the tickets and all that sort of admin? 
yeah, we had plenty of, you know, various offers to, you know, just deciding which way we want to do it, just turn up and, you know, sit in the middle or yeah. obviously get other kind of offers and corporate stuff. You know, it's, it just feels like a bit of an adventure, really. You know, we're turning up and see what comes in front of us. Do you need a couple of extra roadies? Me and Gareth perhaps can tag along. <laughs> Do you want to sell some T-shirts? <laughs> I'll do anything. Yeah, I will, yeah. It would be quite a Nicky Wire thing to do, to actually go all the way out there and watch the game in, in my hotel room. That would be pretty cool. You better not go out all the way. Nicky Wire of the Manic Street Preachers, one of hundreds, maybe even thousands of uh, Welsh rugby fans will be heading to Australia for the Lions Tour later on. That was the most blatant attempt to try and get a free ticket. I think didn't I work, did quite did it? it? Did he? No, I, no. Thought he might, I thought he might be a gentleman and offer you a ticket. Oh, well. Yeah, so that was...